Well, I mean, we're going to finish this war at some point, right? We want to peace out. We want to take this city because it's like a horrible stain on our landscape. Clearly cannot be allowed to, to remain here. Um, it's, it's actually not a terrible city. With the cattle, the pearls, the iron, some more pearls over here. It's going to be half decent. So we'll have to ask for that. Obviously, we're going to have to ask for Neopolis over here. We have already gone and conquered this city, which I don't remember what it was called, but it's now called My Heroics, uh, which reminds me, I should make sure I get my subscriber list. We are marching on Pokrova. Pokrovka? I don't know, this place over here. On this place! I should just rename it. We should just rename it, just rename it this place. Um, we're going to march on this because it's the capital, and we can't ask for this in a peace deal. After we take this, however, the capital will move somewhere else. Probably Auckland. I think that's her highest population. Um, and that's fine. We're okay with not taking that. We'll take Pakriva. We're going to take this city, clearly, just because of the landscape. Um, we're going to take Neopolis. We're going to take this. And we'll see what else we can take. It wouldn't be too terrible. If we took Jerusalem, I think we could liberate it. I don't think we would, but we could. It's a pretty strong city. Um, and we could potentially take whatever else. We'll see how it goes. At this point, I don't believe she was willing to negotiate... Um, well, we can't because we don't have the capital, but, like, we want this, we wanted, um, Neopolis, like, she's willing to give quite a bit, actually, alright, she wouldn't be as far as going to Auckland, but she's willing to give at least a couple of, of, you know, of our smaller cities, but, uh, we're gonna, we're gonna keep, like, trying to fight, however, this city here, I think still had some leftover war weariness from, like, whoever we conquered this from, Sumeria? I don't remember. So they have a lot of war awareness, so they actually got some uh, some rebellion up there, so we'll have to take a look at that. But other than that, I think we're good. Yes, I am excited for the Path of Exile 3.0 beta release. Mm-hmm. What do I think about Civ 6 relative to the other Civilization games? Um, It's very good. It's very, 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 very good. Um, especially now a few patches in, and with the CQUI... Uh, fixes all my little, little annoyances that I had about a couple of things. Um, I'm feeling really, really good about this. I, I'm i happier playing this, I think, than Civ Five at this point, even though I still think that the AI is a little on the, the weak side. All right, let's get... Uh, I guess we'll get repairing things over here. That's going to be fine. A bunch of our units need some orders. Let's go ahead and... Yeah, I'm not really... Uh, the, the artillery is not a problem. We're going to go and smash you. And then... I'm going to go and attack you this way while staying in the city and therefore being nice and safe. Can we see victory conditions? Ah! Would the Alpha 7 just officially, 17 just officially get released for RimWorld? Of course it did, because I don't already have a freaking full schedule of insanity. Um, hey, is this sorted by score now? I wonder if the mod did that, if CQI did that. So, I mean, here we are, you know, score-wise, we're not we're not dominating, but I think we'll be okay. Uh, interestingly enough, Tamiris over here, who we're fighting, has uh, built a spaceport somewhere. Culture-wise, I think we were probably feeling okay. I think Gorgo's the biggest one at risk. We're going to have to keep an eye on that, because tourism does start to accelerate quite a bit in the late game, as you get down your seaside resorts and different things. So this could be a danger. We'll have to keep an eye on things. Um, Domination-wise... Obviously not much, and no risk of religion. So I think we're pretty okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think um, the AI... I mean, the, when they went one unit per tile, that already made life a lot harder for the AI. And it only got worse here with the placement of districts and wonders. It's definitely a lot harder for the AI to deal with. It's not, it's not something that there's a simple solution for. Okay, it's been too long since I've played... I don't know how to play... Guys, I don't know how to sieve anymore. Just pfft, gone. Um, so we just took this. I think we were reloading, and we had to take the capital. I mean, we may or may not need to conquer this, but the only way I can take this in a peace deal is if I own it. So I can't stop until I've actually taken the capital. So this artillery will have a range of three. So from here, one, two, three. Although with the hills and stuff... And this is actually... This is mountain tile? Yeah. Um, so we're going to have to move in quite a bit, because we're not going to be able to shoot from here. Yeah, no targets right now. Do I just want to move up? This guy's pretty hurt. can't remember if he went there to conquer, to, like, steal something. I'm going to have to pull you back, obviously. Um, I guess I'm going to move you to here.
this is a hill. So if I stand here, I should be able to shoot the city. Because um, I've got the extra range right now, but I don't have the action. But he should be able to do that. Okay. Field cannon. I guess I'm going to move you around here to get ready to flank or some, some damn thing. Watch me, like, just completely forget about some critical part of the game. Because it's been so long. Sounds like the sort of thing that could happen. I can't fire from here, right? Because it'll just be blocked by this mountain. It's not going to skirt around. That's kind of annoying. But I guess I can go up this way. Um, he's got no units over here, right? Except for the plane. Oh my god, it's been too long, you guys. I don't know I don't know how to sieve anymore. This is tragic. This medic has got... I guess you're just going to move up to here. That's going to be okay. Um, plane, or balloon, you're done. Worker unit. What are we going to do with you? I think we're going to do some chops and things to accelerate things. I'm going to move you to here. There we go. Help accelerate the repairs and, and whatnot. Now this city's got a bombard, and there's a district, there's an encampment over here. So I don't think we can go around with this anti-tank crew. Is this, what is this? Nothing. Just going to go and sort of body block this guy. Maybe I'll just bring you around here to provide some extra cover in case uh, Tamiris is doing anything. Uh, this guy, I think we were blowing up troops that were crossing the water here. So, obviously I've got a GTFO with this ironclad now. Oh, I'd love to attack him, but I'm getting I'm getting too low. So, we're going to work our way back to one of our, our cities. I guess this one here, so we can hide inside a silent flame. Uh, lone infantry, we can have you join this infantry corps up over here. Deep breaths, do not panic. I know, it's like freaky! <laughs> freaky! On that ancient ruin, you can fire with artillery. Ancient ruin, ancient ruin, ancient ruin. Oh, over here. Yeah, you're right, because it looks all flat. Excellent. Range city attack notification, the best part of CQ UI. Thank you very much. Some barbs down here, but that's okay. Alright, I think we next turn finally. Woof! Yeah, you took my advice. Did I? On that ancient ruin, yes. Yeah, thank you for that. That's very handy. Uh, I guess I'm hooking up some cotton over here. Uh, wait. Oh, it's a repair. Excellent. Lovely. Now next turn. Now next turn. We are not please waiting. I'm going to have some liquidation. Thanks, Gamer Dad Joe. Okay, nothing's dying over here. No, remember when we started this war, did she have like 4,000 military strength and I had like 800? Pretty sure that was the case. Rome is no longer seeking a nomination victory. I don't remember you getting notified about what what kind of victory people are looking for. Rome, you have to remember, is actually in this war against Tamiris with me, which is lovely. All right, you are just going to fortify up here. Um, you're going to move up to here and probably fortify up on this hill. Okay, you can fire to there. Okay, so... Because this is not a hill. This is a hill. So, does the balloon give you indirect fire? It doesn't... It doesn't say that. Adds plus one range to adjacent bombard units. And the artillery doesn't say anything about it. Do all bombard units have indirect fire? How come I can shoot the city? That's what I don't know. Because I'm on flat land, and there's a hill here, and then mountains. Someone in chat might know. Um, I would probably like to plunder that. I don't know if I'll have the moves for it. Yes, I do. Or I could shoot the city. But pretty much do nothing. 
Artillery always has... Yeah, but it doesn't say it in the description. Like, does Bombard have indirect fire? I don't know. I don't know if it's all Bombard units, just artillery, what the deal is. Do I have another balloon? I, I have two balloons somewhere. I have one here. Where's my other... Oh, is it hiding underneath? I think it's hiding underneath this. Yeah. So, I guess the question is, if I stand here, could I shoot that? I mean, I can't now because I've moved. Can I shoot through the mountain? I guess we're going to find out. I'm going to end my turn there and see. And you're just going to protect yourself there. And you're going to come over here and guard that flank. And you can go hide inside the city and rest up. And this field cannon. I mean, I might have to go and whack Neopolis just to get it to peace out. But I'll, I'll move sort of south now. It's got, like, all the promotion levels. All the promotion levels. I think I'm going to rest that infantry for now. It's not like that city's at risk. It's just the plunder that's going to be kind of annoying. Candy, you're with who? Gorgo, all right. Mm-hmm. Nothing has indirect fire, as far as I know. Well, clearly, clearly these units do. <laughs> I, either as a result of the balloon or something. Or do hails not block line of sight? Of course they do. Okay, you are way getting hurt way too badly, so you're going to run away to here. And you... We could clear the marsh, but you're growth capped over here, so no. We could do some more repairs and things. Why don't you run down here to Silent Flame? You might get captured by a horseman, but you're probably fine. Is it an upgrade? I don't think so. The city's on a hill. Err! Wait. So? In Civ 5, would that have mattered? In Civ 5, so if you have a guy on flat ground, and then there's a hill, and then there's someone else on the hill, I don't think you could have hit the guy, the one who's on the hill. I don't remember now. One of the things doesn't come up necessarily that often, but I don't, Earth maybe that's human. it. But to really foul things up, you need a computer. Mm -hmm. Do we have the boost to this? No. Are we going to get a boost to any of these things? Power plant, eventually. Well, let's start working on robotics, because it's a pretty big production boost. But we'll see if we can uh, get it there normally. Do I want to build units or anything like that? Do I have the means to buy anything over here? Yeah. Uh, except it won't be able to because this guy's here. So if I move you out, come back over here, purchase this artillery, I can then core you up. There we go. That'll be handy. Um, just get to work on things. Repair your workshop. Um. Okay. Is someone standing on it, so that's why I couldn't repair it? Maybe that's what was going on there. Trade route. Well, we have to make sure you're in a relatively safe place. Uh, you're building the research lab. That's probably okay. I mean, mostly we want to go for high production. One ball J. That actually seems like a really good safe route. Very short. Very unlikely to run into problems. Uh, so this infantry army really can't get in here. There's just no room for that. So I think I'm actually just going to send him backwards towards the barbarians over here. Although it looks like they're starting to maybe attack Kuloba, so... That entertains, entertains me greatly. Well. Yeah, okay, you can't shoot workers. Okay, so it's not the hill thing, because there's an actual mountain in our way here. We have an actual mountain in our way. 
I mean, it's not a promotion, because the promotions are just plus damage. There's a mountain our way, so it can't be that the city's on a hill. Unless this also affects, like, shooting over mountains. Hmm. You rest. Uh, you GTFO. You... Go here. You can only be shot by the one city. And that city's already got targets, so that's fine. Medic, stay where you are. We're not going to move any closer to Neopolis over here. Um, you're going to chop to do some more quick repairs over here. Get to work on your sewers, because you're over your housing capacity. That's fine. This unit was supposed to not get within bombardment range of the city. Although I can't enter Candy's territory, so that's a little bit annoying. You know what? It's fine. Get in there. You'll just distract and worry them. Okay, I think everything's good and stable. They went and captured that builder over here, that the barbarian builder. That's okay. Ba -da 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 -da. Has to be the balloon. I, that's what I'm thinking. There's nothing in the balloon's description. But it would totally make sense. <laughs> I mean, don't get me wrong. That's a lot of gold, right? It's 359 gold per turn to peace out. But no. I mean, I have to capture her capital. And then we try to negotiate for all the cities. Who am I playing as? I am playing as Cyrus of Persia. What victory am I going for? I don't know. It could be domination. Or maybe we just buckle down and go into space. After basically conquering our, our continent here. I think that would be very viable. I don't know if our, what our tech race is like, our tech rate is like, but could work. Okay, boom, boom, boom. Some more. You have no more walls. I'm attacking across the river here, which is. I'm gonna go out on a limb and say that's probably not ideal. So we're just gonna fortify up and wait until we can bombard next turn. If you go ahead and rest up a little bit more. You just chill there. Um, you're gonna come over here, you're gonna plunder that, thank you. Uh, this spy, you are gonna try to... I think you're gonna steal a great work, is what you're gonna do. Sounds like good times. Do you have... You have an industrial zone. No, you need 10 pop. Because right here would be a great spot for an industrial zone. Right there. If we mine around it. So I'm just going to drop a mine here for now. Alright. Meanwhile. Eliminate you. Thank you. Get a promotion as well. And tank crew is going to chill. Chill. Chill, I said. Oh, you're going to do the thing where I have to fortify you. God, why does that happen? And yeah, that looks safe. How many trade routes do I have? Oh, seven of eight. Okay, so I didn't actually lose very many trade routes along the way. You're going to rest until healed. Then you'll probably go and bop some more units. Next turn, I think we take our capital. Cultural victory still eludes you. Yeah, I mean, because there's a bunch of modifiers. Like, getting a bunch of cu culture, or rather tourism, is only one part of it. The other part of it is trying to, like, make sure the modifiers are as high as possible. I don't remember they are in Civ 6. I mean, Civ 5 was, like, open borders, same ideology. If you don't have an ideology, make sure to send a diplomat over there, etc., etc. There's a builder there I could steal, but... Um, Alright, Jezegaia, you have no amenity. Well, it's, it's not war awareness. You just have... Like, no amenities. So we should probably build you, like, an entertainment district. Greener the better. Maybe right over here, because that'll overlap more cities. Tell you what, Jezegaia, congratulations. You're getting an entertainment complex right over here. Send Envoy. Okay. Um, 
Man, it would be really handy to get candy. We have nine. Eh, you know what? We're getting very close. Actually, that'll flip it. Now I can walk through their territory and everything. So that's going to be handy. Alright, boom. Boom. One more boom. Boom! Yeah. Major defeat, because we're attacking across the river, but then this guy can just walk in. Yeah, we could buy Candy's army. I don't need to do that, though. Hey! Unveiling a new spaceport has energized your people to push into space. Progress towards space race has increased. And advanced ballistics. And telecommunications. Okay. That, that was a lot of Eurekas from one place. Uh, you can start repairing your stuff. That's going to be fine. Uh, apparently we got a wonder... Okay, so what do you got? What do you got? What do you got? What do you got? Um... Doo -doo 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 -doo. The Mahabodhi Temple, which is giving faith, and the Alhambra. Can we not get a tooltip on these things? One of these is giving us a policy, though. So, that's good. Military academies and seaports get plus one science. I don't actually have that much. Uh, defense... Well, no, that's, that's our own territory. That's not going to help with, um, the war wariness. Cheaper upgrades, production. We don't need native conquest. It doesn't really give us that much. I don't know. We're not that far from maybe doing an upgrade, but... You know, we got a little bit of sign. A little, a little of those. It's going to add, like, a couple extra beakers. We're going to go from 171 to... Ooh. Ooh. 180. Well, an extra nine beakers. That's not... Or flasks. That's not bad. Hooray! A builder. Bump. Alright, you're all good. Okay, so we may have to wait one uh, one turn, but we are looking for this place, this place, this place, um, Jerusalem? All your gold. Okay, what do we think? <clears throat> I mean, we could get cities over the water, but I'm thinking like nice contiguous group. So this is the one to the southeast of her capital. It's like if her capital is here, right? On the map. This one here is the one just to the southeast. Neopolis is the one to the south over here. Kostro is over here. Jerusalem is way over here on its own. But it's pretty good. Yes, that includes the annoying site of the southwest, which is this one. Uh, Kostro Skaya. Although... Was there not also a city across the water that was blocking our path? More money, less relics? No, this is fine. Yeah, take the one that... Okay. Hang on a sec. Olbia. Olbia is the one that's blocking the water over here. Well, and Koloba. But if I've got this, I can go after Edfu. Olbia. Neopolis. Koloba? No. Hmm. I don't care about warmongering penalties. This might be better.
So do we take the relics or the money? Some people wanted the money. 